Do you ever have those moments where it feels like you just bit off a little more than you can chew? I thought so. Sharing God's love in the digital world and encouraging others to live by faith. This is Joshua Verwers. Hey y'all, Joshua Verwers back here once again. We are up to Vlogmas Day 7. Now, if you're new to this channel, I typically am just providing weekly content to bring you information and inspiration to help you live by faith, but you find yourself smack dab in the middle of a 25-day challenge we like to call Vlogmas. Now, if that type of content sounds interesting to you, I want you to go ahead and tap that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the little bell so that way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a new video. Today was kind of an interesting one. I didn't get a chance to really get out of the house too much because I had a lot of work to do when it came to videos and also had quite a bit of sermon prep to get ready as well. Uh, so sermon prep, I'm still continuing with the God With Us series and it's going to be exciting. So I'm really looking forward to ministering this Sunday uh, and hopefully just allowing the Holy Spirit to really speak through me and deliver his message to our congregation. As far as the video goes, if you saw yesterday's video, you saw that I went to the Crimson Anchor Coffee Shop up in Indianola, Iowa, and I told them that I was going to create this vlog, but I also wanted to create a video for them. Well, while I was there, they asked if I could do a little extra recording and put a little extra work into it for them, and I was happy to oblige, but that just requires a little bit more work for me, so still doing quite a bit of that. Then I'm also providing my part for a video collab over on my buddy Juan Camacho's channel. I don't want to say too much about it because I'm not sure when he's getting ready to release it, but when it does, you'll hear about it from me and I will definitely make sure to link that. Check me out, follow me on social media. You can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of them at Joshua Verwers, and you'll be able to get the latest update on when his video drops live. And then if that wasn't enough, I wound up noticing that one of my other YouTube friends, Chase Jones, is doing a YouTube Rewind Tag video and tagged me in it. So because he tagged me, I've got to tag some others. And he said, hey, is there any chance you would be able to get that going and drop it today? So yesterday, he asked me if I could get that turnaround and drop today, and I did, and it actually dropped about three hours ago, so you can check that out as well. That was in addition, all of this in addition to recording, editing, and uploading this video right here. So it's been quite a hectic day. And my life's also gotten a little more hectic because I went back to driving school bus to help out. We have a shortage of bus drivers out there in our community, and I know there's a shortage of bus drivers all across the country. And because of that, some of these student athletes won't be able to go to their games unless somebody steps up. Sometimes people are asking me, are you doing too much? Are you too busy? And I, I don't know. I don't really have the answer for that. Um, I do know that I have to try to maintain balance. I, I, my wife has done an amazing job of really trying to help me with some of that. Even like with some of these videos, I'll just ask her, do you think I bit off more than I can chew? You know, when it comes to daily vlogging, she said, if you're planning on daily vlogging for the next year, yeah, that's way too much. But if it's just for vlogmas, that's fine. And so she's able to really help me in such a way that it, it does create a little bit of balance for me. Sometimes when it comes to finding that proper balance, I've really got to look outside of myself. I've got to look outside of my family. I've got to look outside of those that are closest to me and try to get some wisdom from other places. And many years ago, I wound up picking up this book called Boundaries by Dr. Henry Cloud and John Townsend. And there were some things in it that really spoke to me and really spoke in such a way that I could get them. And so I want to share with you a quote that I found in here that has just blessed me over and over and over again. It says that God wants you to discover and use your gifts to his glory. He asks only that you include him in the process. And then he quotes Psalm 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. And so with everything that I do and all of these extra things, it's not only what do I feel I'm able to handle and what is my wife okay letting me handle and what is it that my kids are okay with me being away for, I also have to think about what is it that God really wants me to do. 
And if I'm not seeking him first, and if I'm not committing my ways to him, why? If I'm not doing it for him, am I just doing it for myself? Now, I hope that message encourages you. I hope it blesses you. I also hope that it challenges your way of thinking because whether we are staying busy or whether we tend to be a little bit lazy, we need to make sure that no matter what we're doing, we're committing all of our ways to the Lord. Now, I have no idea what tomorrow's in store for you guys here on Vlogmas, but I'm excited to find out. This has been a fun journey. I've had a few questions that people have asked me over the last several months, and I actually plan on addressing them next week. So if you have a question that you've wanted to ask me, go ahead, let me know down in the comments section below. And when I'm vlogging next week, I'm going to just periodically bring some of those questions in and try to answer them to the best of my ability. So until tomorrow, I want you all to stay blessed, enjoy God's best, have a great day.